Let's talk about this weird thing. Have you all seen this? This is sea moss, and I just recently incorporated it back into my diet. Super simple. We're gonna talk about how you can use it. It's supposed to have 92 out of the 102 minerals that the body needs. Now here's what's really, really interesting. I got this. This is also sea moss shipped to me from Honduras. This is a wild sea moss. Look how thin the strands are compared to this. And I wondered why are they so different? And I was peeking on Amazon and it showed that the thinner threads are generally wild harvested. So um, I believe this is supposed to be wild sea moss as well, but I'm not totally sure. This is my Ninja Smoothie Maker and Extractor. You can do sauces, nut butters, smoothie bowls. I even tried to make avocado ice cream. Didn't turn out amazing because I didn't know what I was doing, but I'm definitely gonna be trying that again. So we're gonna be making the sea moss gel in this. And last time I did basically a one-to-one -one ratio with water and the sea moss, and it was really thick. There were still some bits in it. Um, and what I was doing was I was adding it to my yogurt or I would just stir it in with some nut butter and other things since I'm still doing low carb, um, raw vegan diet. So yeah, this time I did probably double the amount of water and the sea moss so we're going to blend this up you can make sauces because it thickens sauces you can throw it into your smoothie you can just spoon it when you blend it it really doesn't have much of a flavor but so yeah what i was saying in terms of the minerals so 92 minerals it's got collagen so it's good for the hair this is going to get chopped off soon i just got to figure out what cut I am going to be doing. Um, this is down past my knees right now. So good for your hair, good for your skin um, because of that collagen. And of course it's sea algae. So there's protein in here and people just love this stuff like for real, for real. So let's get this blended up and I'll show you what it looks like. So I use the smoothie option and it goes for 60 seconds and it actually like starts and then it stops it starts and stops which i think helps to blend it better but you could see what it turned out like it looks like it's really smooth i wasn't sure if i needed to blend it again but let's get this poured so i can see what the texture is like all right here it is so this would be perfect for sauces or throwing into smoothies it will thicken up in the fridge. So there you go, simple sea moss gel, and you know, try it out just as is so you know what the flavor is like. I thought it would be like really sort of seaweedy, fishy, but it's pretty neutral. But of course, depending on the ones that you get, the flavor will vary. And again, if you want it thicker, then I did this one-to-one -one ratio and you can blend it a couple times. Even the little bits in it are kind of fun, but yeah, give this a go. Let me know what you think and check out some of my other videos. I make coconut yogurt at home. I make different ferments and the links will be below. Ciao.